Welcome, Ophiosis. Ophiosis, yeah. All right, Ophiosis. And this is um, the evening of the soul reading for 020202. Um, this is going to be good. Um, the extended reading is, is uh, here. Please share, share, share these videos, Ophiosis, and try and find other people who are Ophiosis that was born um, November 29 until December 17, okay? So, Ophiosis, let's do this. Whatever is transpiring, Ophiosis, these readings is going to help you whenever you need a uh, pick-me-up for your soul. Whenever you're sad for your soul, come back and listen to this reading. I see um, you guys have, how are you called to step up as a leader? So a lot of you Ophiosis are going to be called to step up as a leader because you're the healers of this planet. So it's all about the soul healing. And what is going to be transpiring is that in the spirit, a lot of you are going to be called up so that you wake up to who you are and what is your divine blueprint. And as you open up your divine blueprint, you're going to be realizing and finding out that you're the pre the eye priestess and, and and priestess of this planet okay you're the healers of this planet so you're going to be awakening your blueprint so this is very good because this is a very positive energies for you ophiosis um working and opening up your blueprint waters what is um what is blocking you ophiosis is that uh, where do you need to establish your borders? Some of you are not aware of that. So it's as if some of you are going to be um, finding a way how to establish your borders between you and other people because some people are not aware of how far to go. And um, I see that some of you need to establish your borders with other people. Okay, so you're going to be letting people know in the month of April, May and June, um, this is where you go and no further. Your intuition and the writ of passage crossing that stretch all is very, very important. So whatever is happening and transpiring, crossing that stretch all is very, very, very important. So you are going to be understanding what is transpiring, what is happening, because you're going to be crossing that stretch all, okay? In a... The inner temple is where you're going to be connecting. The inner temple is where you're going to be connecting. Connecting with the right people in the right situation. So the inner is where you're going to be connecting with the right people in the right situations, okay? So whatever is transpiring and happening, you are going to be connecting with the right people in the right situations. The Council of Light is going to be here where they're going to be protecting you and guiding you, okay? So whatever is to inspire with a council of light, they're going to be protecting you and guiding you in whatever the situation is and that is to inspire in your life. You're going to be protected and guided, okay? So this is very important um, for you guys because what is happening here and what is to inspire is that we are seeing that whatever the deceptiveness that was happening in your life, this, this situation is definitely going to be clearing up. And you are going to be able to move forward in a very, very positive direction, okay? And as you um, stand up and move forward in a very positive direction, what we're seeing is going to be coming out and it's going to be happening is that you are going to be finding out what has transpired, okay? So, you know, what does this mean for you, Ophiosis? Is that it is time for you to awaken, okay? It is time for you to be awakened, okay? And um, this is going to be good, okay? So... Whoever and whatever is transpired, it is um that it's gonna be time for you to be awakened. And as you be awakened, you are going to be finding out uh, um where and what is happening and transpiring. So that is going to be good. And that is going to be very, very positive what has happened and, and, and has transpired. So good positive energy, good um positive alignment of energy. However, this, this is happening and however this is transpiring, good alignment of energy, 
because the Council of Light is coming out and they are going to be protecting you uh, on your journeys, okay? What you need to let go is the ego and uh, this is looking in the uh, mirror and you need to let go of the ego, okay? So you are going to be having and facing within the month of July, August and September, letting go of the ego. I see the energy of the warrior woman comes out for you, um, Ophiosis. So this is good because what is going to be transpiring for you, Ophiosis, is that you're going to be standing your guard and you're going to be standing up against things, people and situation that is very deceptive. Things, people and situation that is very um, deceptive. Okay. So, um, this is wonderful. This is good. These are positive alignment of energy. I see the boundaries. You have a whole lot of issues to work out and it is boundaries with other people. It is the mirror seeing the ego. Okay. And releasing the ego and the warrior woman. Have you answer your deepest call? So some of you are ready to be finding out what was your deepest call. And if you have answer your deepest call. In order to um, receive the extended, because the extended is just super, super good, you need to um, be a member of the channel, connect, and then you can um, access these, okay? So, boundaries. I see a lot of you, um, there could be a lot of conflicts, uh, um, there could be a lot of um, worries, uh, um, inner worries, and that sort of a thing, and I see that you are going to be finding a way how to create boundaries between you and other people. I see the energy, whatever the worries was, whatever the deceptiveness that was at play, whatever the self breaking down of yourself, giving yourself these horrible, horrible sound, I see you're going to be removing your ego. And as you remove your ego, there is a cycle is going to be broken where you're going to be seeing yourself in um, in a positive light that you have never seen yourself before. There we go. I said it. So the warrior woman, the warrior woman is here and the warrior woman, um, some of you are going to be answering your, answering your call in the month of October, November and December. Whatever is transpiring and going on around you, Ophiosis, you're going to be answering your call in the month of October, November, and December, okay? And I know why that is going to be happening because that is in the time span where um, other spiritual beams are going to be appearing on this planet. And I see the energy of the worry woman, the, the warrior woman, and that is the woman that is going to be using the sword of truth, okay? So this is um, absolutely good because some of you could have been dealing um, with uh, an Aquarian or dealing with some worries that an Aquarian has created through um, rituals, crossing the tread all and try to take your energy away or try to play with your energy. And I see you, you cutting that down. I see you cutting it down and you're bringing boundaries. I see you cutting it down and you're bringing boundaries, okay? A lot of you are going to start your own business or a lot of you are going to consider starting your business. And I see a lot of you are going to be continue, uh, con um, considering starting your own full-time business. Um, if you work in part-time, you're going to be continuing and you're going to be starting to think to work part-time for yourself and as you um create this uh, okay as you create this uh, it is going to be absolutely successful i see a lot of clients are going to be finding you coming to you this is going to be good because i see you take back your power you're awakened to what your divine life purpose is uh, and i see you creating things that you're going to be extremely extremely successful so whatever the energy is and whatever that was transpiring, I see success is going to be coming up here. I see you're really, really, really um, bothered up. Um, you are going to be successful because the energy of the seven of pentacles is where you're going to be start working on yourself. And these are two sevens. So you have 
multiple opportunities that is going to be coming in and i see you're creating for yourself a business for yourself creating something for yourself that is going to bring you a lot of abundance but not even that but a lot of clientele and you're going to be successful so if you decide to do something on your own something part-time it is going to be successful okay and once it has to do with your divine life purpose it is going to be successful Ooh, Ophiosis. So, Ophiosis, um, you are working on the 12th house, so you're releasing karma, okay? So you, Ophiosis, are definitely working on the 12th house and releasing karma. However, and, uh, however, and, uh, however that is and how it's coming up, you're going to be releasing karma. Moonstone, it is good for you guys to um, look for a moonstone. Moonstone help you to awaken your divine mission. Um, mystery is an illumination mystery and illumination so this is where it comes in for um you guys because your soul is going to be awakened and you're going to be so astonished by the mystery and the illuminations that is coming up um and the intuition that is going to be aligning you so um your um extra divine purpose or your extra work something that you're going to be doing on the side i see the council of lights are going to be helping you now these are your spiritual guiding angels that is going to be coming in and helping you ophiosis the unseen world um they are going to be watching over you and helping you to go through this process and it's going to be good so please share these reading with other people and extended is uh, as you are a member of the channel or join the channel, you will receive the extended of these reading. Make a decision, make a decision, feeling stuck and indecisive. Listen to your intuition and make a decision. So it's all about making a decision. It's all about listening to your intuition and make a decision. Whatever is transpiring, if you feel stuck at this time, you have to remove yourself out of the stuckness and make a decision what it is that you choose to do you gotta make a decision because you are feeling stuck because you haven't made any decision all right and that is what is transpiring all right as a soul i can be in several places at once so some of you someone could have passed over and you have been thinking about them and um as people pass over um, they realized that their bodies was the only thing that was keeping them from being in multiple places at one time. And now, um, someone out there, if you have been thinking about someone that has passed away, they are saying, as a soul, I, I can be in several places at one time. And this is what is happening. And this is so fabulous and so wonderful because what is transpiring is that Someone out there is, is letting you know that they can be in different places at one time, protecting you, protecting the kids, protecting your sisters and brothers, however that is coming up. But someone who has passed away, they're letting you know that they're watching over everyone. OK, so this is a message for someone that has uh, their family or someone very close have passed away. They're letting you know that they're watching over everyone. So. I want to say thank you. Please share these videos. Namaste.